chemical reactions and equations. In this module, we will study about chemical reaction, chemical equation, balanced chemical equation, combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, double displacement reaction and oxidation reduction reaction. Introduction You might have observed many chemical changes in daily life such as the formation of curd from milk, rusting of iron, burning of crackers, rotting of fruits, etc. Let us study one of these changes. If we place an iron nail in the moist atmosphere for some time, what will be the observation? Corrosion. Corrosion of iron is, in fact, the conversion of iron metal into iron oxide due to the action of moist air. Corrosion of iron is an example of chemical reaction. Let us study about the chemical reaction. Let us observe the changes that occur during the burning of a magnesium ribbon. When a magnesium ribbon is burnt, it gets converted into white powder. This white powder is magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide is formed by the reaction of magnesium with the oxygen of air. The process that leads to the transformation of one set of chemical substances to another is called chemical reaction. Chemical substances that take part in a chemical reaction are called reactants and the substances formed in the reaction are called products. If we use the chemical symbols and chemical formulae to represent the reactants and products, then the above mentioned chemical reaction can be simply written as an equation. The equation that represents the chemical reaction is known as chemical equation. Chemical reaction is the phenomenon which brings a permanent change in substances, whereas chemical equation is symbolic representation of chemical reaction. Let us study about the chemical equation. Now, let us try to identify the reactant and product in the following reaction. In chemical equation, molecular formulas of reactants are written on left hand side and that of products are written on right hand side. Hence, magnesium and oxygen are reactants, whereas magnesium oxide is product. Let us study about the balanced chemical equation. A chemical reaction is balanced when the number of atoms of each element on both the sides of the arrow is equal. A balanced chemical equation tells us about the formula, symbols, names and physical states of the reactants and products. The relative number of atoms and molecules of the reactants and products participating in the reaction. The ratio of the moles and masses of the reactants and products. The ratio of the volumes of the gaseous reactants and products. Information conveyed by chemical equation are It tells us about symbols, names and physical states of reactants and products. It gives information about relative numbers of atoms and molecules. It gives ratio of moles, masses and volume. The chemical equations are balanced to satisfy the law of conservation of mass in chemical reactions. The reaction between hydrogen 
and chlorine to form hydrogen chloride can be written as total atoms of reactants are two hydrogen and two chlorine. Total atoms of products are two hydrogen and two chlorine. Therefore, we can say that the number of various types of atoms in reactants must be equal to the number of the same type of atoms in products. There are certain symbols which are used in a chemical equation. S stands for solid state. L stands for liquid state. G stands for gaseous state. AQ stands for aqueous solution. Downward arrow stands for precipitate. Upward arrow stands for escaping gas. And delta stands for heating. It is time to understand the difference between subscripts and coefficients with reference to their usage for representing chemical equations. The subscripts tell you how many atoms of a particular element are in a compound. The coefficient tells you about the quantity or number of molecules of the compound. Let us understand by this example. C means one atom of carbon. O means one atom of oxygen. O2 means one molecule of oxygen consisting of two atoms of oxygen. CO means one molecule of carbon monoxide consisting of one atom of carbon attached to one atom of oxygen. CO2 means one molecule of carbon dioxide consisting of one atom of carbon attached to two atoms of oxygen. Three molecules of carbon dioxide, each consisting of one atom of carbon attached to two atoms of oxygen. Now we will study about some advantages of chemical equations. Representation of chemical reaction becomes easy. Helps in knowing the effect of temperature, pressure and concentration on reaction rate. Can be understood by chemists all over the world irrespective of their language. Let us see how can we balance a chemical equation. Now, let us try to balance the given reactions. Zinc plus sulfuric acid forms zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. Methane plus oxygen forms carbon dioxide plus water. Magnesium plus oxygen forms magnesium oxide. Sodium plus water forms sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. The balanced chemical equations are written as follows. Types of chemical reactions Combination reaction Decomposition reaction Displacement reaction Double displacement reaction Oxidation reduction reaction Combination reaction A reaction in which two or more substances combine to give a single substance is also known as combination or synthesis reaction. For example, burning of coal, formation of water from hydrogen and oxygen, etc. Other examples of combination reactions are as follows. Ammonia and hydrogen chloride combine together to give ammonium chloride. Carbon and oxygen combine together to give carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide and oxygen combine together to give carbon dioxide. In most of the combination reactions, a large amount of heat is evolved. This makes the reaction mixture warm. The reactions in which the heat is released 
along with the formation of the products are called the exothermic reactions. Can you identify the example of combination reaction out of these chemical reactions? Your options are given below. The correct answer is C. Decomposition reaction. Let us watch the animation for the better understanding of decomposition reaction. A reaction in which a compound is broken into two or more simpler substances is known as decomposition reaction. For example, on heating calcium carbonate, it decomposes to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Here are some more examples. When ferrous sulphate is heated strongly, it decomposes to form ferric oxide, sulphur dioxide and sulphur trioxide. When lead nitrate is heated strongly, it breaks down to form simpler substances like lead monoxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. Characteristics of decomposition reaction It is the opposite of the combination reaction. Most of the decomposition reactions require heat energy. The reactions that require energy to occur are known as the endothermic reactions. Decomposition can also be carried out in the presence of the other energy sources like electricity, sunlight, etc. Thermal decomposition The decomposition reaction carried out with the help of heat is known as the thermal decomposition. For example, decomposition of calcium carbonate. On heating, it decomposes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas. Electrolytic decomposition The decomposition reaction carried out with the help of electricity is known as electrolytic decomposition. For example, when an electric current is passed through water, it decomposes to produce hydrogen and oxygen gas. For detailed explanation, watch the animation carefully. Photochemical decomposition The decomposition reactions that take place in the presence of light are called the photochemical decomposition reactions. For example, decomposition of silver chloride. Applications of decomposition reactions. They are used for the following purposes. For extracting several metals from their oxides, digestion of food in our body, in photography, etc. Can you identify the example of decomposition reaction out of these chemical reactions? Your options are given below. The correct answer is option A. Displacement reaction. Those reactions in which an atom or a group of atoms present in a molecule is displaced by another atom are known as the displacement reactions. For example, when a piece of iron is added to a solution of copper sulfate, iron displaces copper from copper sulfate. Let us watch an animation for the detailed explanation. When a strip of zinc metal is placed in a solution of copper chloride, then zinc chloride solution and copper metal are formed. Double displacement reaction A reaction in which two compounds exchange their ions to form two new compounds is called the double displacement reaction. For example, when sodium sulphate solution is treated with barium chloride solution, a white precipitate of barium sulphate 
and sodium chloride is formed. When silver nitrate solution is treated with sodium chloride solution, a white precipitate of silver chloride and sodium nitrate is formed. When magnesium oxide solution is treated with calcium sulfide solution, a white precipitate of magnesium sulfide and calcium oxide is formed. Oxidation Reduction Reaction The reaction in which reduction and oxidation takes place simultaneously is known as redox reaction. Oxidation reaction is addition of oxygen to a substance. For example, or oxidation is removal of hydrogen from a substance. Reduction is addition of hydrogen to a substance. For example, or reduction is removal of oxygen from a substance. Oxidation, reaction that involves the loss of electrons, is called the oxidation reaction. Reduction, reaction that involves the gain of electrons, is called the reduction reaction. In these reactions, we can see that oxidation and reduction occur together. As oxidation and reduction reactions occur simultaneously. Hence, during redox reactions, number of electrons lost is equal to number of electrons gained. Can you give the name of the process in which removal of hydrogen from a substance takes place? Your options are reduction, corrosion, oxidation, and dehydration. The correct answer is C. Oxidation. Two common oxidation reactions taking place in our daily life are the corrosion of metals, the rancidity of food. Corrosion is a process in which metals are eaten up gradually by the action of air moisture or chemical on their surface. Rusting of iron is an example of corrosion. The black coating on silver and the green coating on copper are other examples of corrosion. Corrosion causes damage to car bodies, bridges, iron railings, ships and to all objects made of metal. It can be prevented by painting surface, by greasing or by galvanization. Rancidity is the deterioration of fatty and oily food by the oxidation, leading to unpleasant smell and taste. Some of the factors that accelerate rancidity are the presence of traces of metals like zinc, iron, etc. Light, water, bacteria and molds. Rancidity can be prevented by using airtight and light protecting packaging. By using antioxidants like vitamin A and C. By using spices as rosemary and sage. And by filling nitrogen gas in chips container. Sometimes you feel unpleasant smell and taste produced in the fats. Do you know the name of that process? Your options are reduction, corrosion, acidity and rancidity. The correct answer is rancidity. Let us quickly summarize the types of chemical reactions. Let's recap. A process that leads to the transformation of one set of chemical substances to another one is called chemical reaction. Chemical equation is a representation of a chemical reaction 
with the help of chemical symbols and formulae of substances involved in it. Combination reaction is a reaction in which two or more substances combine to give a single substance. Decomposition reaction is a reaction in which a compound is broken into two or more simpler substances. Displacement reaction is a reaction in which an atom or a group of atoms present in a molecule is displaced by another atom. Double displacement reaction is a reaction in which two compounds exchange their ions to form two new compounds. Redox reaction is a reaction in which reduction and oxidation takes place simultaneously. Addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen is called reduction. Addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen is called oxidation.